Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. The eyes of the world are on Meghan Markle and <laughs> Prince Harry this weekend as the royal wedding approaches. <laughs> and just in case you did not get your invitation in the mail, our next guest, she has you covered. Yes, she does. Here to tell us all about everything royal mm -hmm. is travel expert Davy Sutton. Hello. Hello, darling. Ooh. She's ready. Right. This weekend is one of the most mm -hmm. huge, I mean, amazing weddings ever that's going to take place in history. Mm -hmm. Meghan Markle has found her prince. Oh, yes, yeah. she did. Like weekend. in real life. This morning. This morning. This morning. Right. right. Wow. Tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. Lord. All yes. right. So let's <laughs> talk about uh, all things royal here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we, we didn't get our, it's clear, we didn't get our invitation. It's fine. Oh, but it doesn't matter okay. because today we are going to walk and talk and place ourselves to be like a royal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, we're royal every day. Oh, well, right? yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, queens, right? Right, queens. right. Yeah. So what is the dress code for the royal wedding? Okay, so um, it's going to be clear when you start seeing, that's part of the fun of watching the right. royal wedding. If you wake up, and on the East Coast, you don't have to wake up that early. It's 7 a.m. On okay. the West Coast, about 4 a.m. That's when the ceremonies will start. But the men, you can expect them to, you'll still see a lot of military uniforms okay. doned mm. with their medals and badges. Oh, nice. And wow. then for the women, it's a, a day dress and hats, Ooh, those fascinators. So and so it's going to be a fashion show full of that. The dresses need to be a little bit conservative, not too um, high above the uh, knee. Oh, really? And then mm. cover your arms. What? Oh, wow. Which yes. makes sense. It's kind of like when we go to chapter meetings. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. without the fascinators. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right, Cole. Well, listen, I'm here for all the pomp and circumstances. Yes. I really am. But would you tell us a little bit about the transportation? Oh, my like, goodness. What are people, how are they pulling up and arriving? And then, I hear that there's a parade after the ceremony. Right. So the ceremony is going to be really succinct, about one hour. That's and what I, I like. I have a breaking news because a few hours ago, just just a few hours ago, it was announced that Prince Charles will walk Meghan Markle down the aisle. Now, remember, it was about it was kind of a debate with her mother do it because her father can't attend and all the complications behind that. Mm -hmm. So Prince Charles... The, the 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 next in line to be king. Yeah, wow. Her down the we'll aisle. walk her down the aisle. So yeah. after the ceremony, they will be in an open carriage drawn by four horses, mm -hmm. and they will leave Windsor Castle, and oh, then they goodness. will move. So there you see Kate and and, yes. um, yeah. and um, Wills, mm -hmm. and then um, so they'll move through the town, and then they'll end up at the reception. That will only take about twenty five minutes, but that's where the first public sightings of the of wow. the new newlyweds will the be. The royal couple. Yeah, yes. that's very noble of him because her daddy was turning. Up. But anyway, uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, can you talk to us about the, the ceremony and where it will take place? It will be at Windsor Castle. Okay. Now, so this is kind of a, a little point to note because Harry had been uh, known as the prince that really didn't hold up to much of the traditions. Mm -hmm. he, he was out here wilding in the States, right? Clearly. He was right? And so, he was turning um, Getting married at Windsor Castle is very traditional. Most, a lot of his cousins, his aunts, his, his um, ancestors were married at Windsor Castle. So there was a, 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 a keen choice for him to go back to tradition at this point. Okay, because wow. he, he can make that decision? <laughs> like, so it's not a, it's not a, like a, a thing that's... Um, uh, uh, mandatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's not mandatory. Okay. They got to decide uh, all the fine details of their marri marriage, including the cake. Uh -huh. the, usually they have that uh, stuffy fruit cake that nobody really wants Ooh, to eat, and right. now they have a special cake really? um, that yeah. people do want to eat. Okay. <laughs> I love that they are actually uh, infusing their own personality Breaking into tradition this, a little bit. Yes, and, <laughs> into this marriage and the wedding. I, I love that. Clearly. Well, so part of that is also that he is like, 10th, 15th in line. And as long as Kate still has children, all those children will yeah. get, will, are heir to the throne, throne before Harry mm -hmm. is. Oh, wow. So, so you can, have to go all out for the wedding because you just don't know when your turn is going <laughs> to so be. Well, he may not have a turn so he can actually live his life. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have some famous castles right here in the U.S. Yes, and this is what I wanted to kind of spin the bulk of our, our, our chat about is how you can live like a royal. And a lot of people don't know that we have castles <laughs> right here in the States. Yes. And so I, you know, when I was doing my research for this, that I, I could list 12, 15 castles. Wow. But we don't have all day to list castles. Yeah. So I picked out four places I think are pretty special. And we're going to start with Hearst Castle, okay. mm -hmm. which is in California, oh in my San God, Simeon, wow. California. It's on a hilltop overlooking the town below, what? as castles should do, mm -hmm. right? The estate was built between 1919 and 1947 for newspaper tycoon William Randolph Hearst. Mm -hmm. So Hearst nicknamed the estate La Cuesta Encantada. Nice. The Enchanted Hill, 
and it has 165 rooms, 127 wow. acres of beautiful terrace gardens. And so today they offer tours and um, tours during the day and the evening hours. Yes, wow, that's nice. That's good. Yeah. So the next place I want to tell you about is. I mean, you can go year around. I've been to this place, and you're going to be enchanted mm -hmm. by the Biltmore Estate in North Carolina, yes. just outside of Asheville. <laughs> yes. You can go in the winter for their winter show and their Christmas lights. You can also go for their gardens. And people also rent it out for weddings. You can rent it yeah. for weddings. And you know, this is I picked Biltmore Estate, too, because you can actually stay on the property. Oh, now, okay. There's 35 bedrooms in Biltmore Estate. You can't stay in this state, but you can stay in the uh, former gardener's house. Oh, <laughs> they've done that up, though. Oh, and, um, it's still nice. <laughs> and an inn that they built in, um, in 2001 on the property. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You got two more to get through, yes. right? Yes. Really yes. quickly. Okay. So we have Bolt Castle in New York. Uh -huh. okay. And it's tucked away on the tiny island in this. upstate New York's Ooh. Thousand Ooh. Island region. That's gorgeous. And this one I love because it comes. it's a castle built in 1900 for um, George C. Bolt, for mm -hmm. him and his wife as their Summer home, darling. Oh, wow. Summer, Summer home. home. The beautiful island estate includes a 120-room castle and its own drawbridge. So if wow. you are doing uh, building castles in the blueprint, you want a drawbridge. Yeah, drawbridge. I mean, yeah. you might not I mean, want family to come over that day. Right. You just bring the bridge right. on up. Just <laughs> draw it on up. <laughs> Selena, come no on business. over. No, all the bridge, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So next, we're going to move on quickly to Font Hill Castle in mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. It's just about an hour outside of Philly. Okay. But the reason I picked this one is built in 1908, between 1908 and 1912. Great year. Um, and, <laughs> great year. Um, and it was uh, <laughs> built to showcase archaeologist and ceramicist Harry Chapman's Mercier um, extensive collection of tiles and prints. And so now, not only this visit is for a, a, a you can tour it, yes. but it's a museum. Wow. So you get more, you can see some of those exhibits. Well, Debbie, listen, thank you so much she's for all awesome. the time. I mean, she's <laughs> given us a great sneak peek today into the royal wedding, and we just love you for that. For more on Debbie, you definitely can catch her on the travel show Beyond the Usual on Amazon Prime Video Channels. All right, up next, we hear from you and what the people say. Debbie Sutton, everybody. Yes. Be royal. Be royal, baby. <laughs>